Hello Buzzsprout community. My name is Brandon and I wanted to do a quick tutorial for you guys to show you how to add captions when you are sharing your video soundbite. So um, just a quick little tutorial I want to put together. I also do a podcast using Budsprout. It's um, obviously right there on the screen, Digital Marketing Tool Talk. So yeah, I just want to show you how you can share it, but then add captions. So if you don't already add captions, you should know that about 80%, and it fluctuates, of videos that are watched on Facebook are done without audio on. So you really need to have captions. It'll help you uh, with your engagement, help people understand and see what's going on, especially if you're promoting a really cool episode, you wanna have those captions on there so people uh, can see how to do it. So I'm just gonna walk you through, I'm gonna do one right now and uh, go through the process so that you can see how it's done. So when you're in your uh, platform here, you're gonna go to episodes and uh, you, you will be on all episodes. Let me back up uh, one uh, quick step here. So you'll be here and you'll have all your episodes that you have. So go ahead and open the one that you wanna create the sound bite for. And if you scroll down on the right-hand side, you'll see all those options. You, If you're totally new, maybe you haven't done this, but if you have, you, you'll see right at the top, it says create a video sound bite. So let's go ahead and click on that. Okay. Now, when you come in here, there's a, a couple of options for what clip you want of your podcast. So I'm not going to go into that too much. I'll, I'll let you, um, you know, figure out what uh, section of your podcast you want to actually uh, promote. But let's say you found it and it sounds good and you want to continue. So yes, this is the sound clip I want to use. So it says sounds good. You can pick square, landscape, or portrait. That just depends on on your uh, personal preference. Uh, they also give a few suggestions here that this is good for Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. So we're gonna stick with that one because this tutorial is gonna focus mainly on the captions in Facebook. And change your background, a couple little uh, if you want, like mine has a really long title. So if you want to change that, you can do that in there. But let's say I'm happy with it. I've made uh, whatever changes I want to make. So I'm going to click create my sound bite. Okay. So uh, this is what happens every time. It, you're going to need, you're going to get a, um, uh, your, your sound bite is being processed and they will send you an email so that you can download it and post it to social media. So I'm gonna move uh, quickly through this so we can actually get to the posting of Facebook and you can see how to actually um, add captions so that people can read your sound bite, all right? Okay, and then within a couple of minutes, you're gonna get an email from Buzzsprout that's saying your sound bite is ready. So this is uh, what it's gonna look like. And uh, it just gives you a, a few tips and stuff on how to share this uh, through social apps like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. We're just going to go right down here. There'll be a button in here that says, get your video soundbite. So go ahead and click on that. <clears throat> and that's going to pull up uh, your, Buzzsprout, um, your Buzzsprout account again. And if you come over to the right side where you were before, you'll see the video soundbite is now available. So let's go ahead and download that soundbite. Okay, so I, I, go, I went ahead and uh, went through the process of downloading that soundbite and I save it uh, in my files, but here it is down below. I'm not sure if you can see it, but I, I have saved it. So now let's go into Facebook and let's take a look at how we're going to share this. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come to my business page, which is Hoku Marketing, and I'm going to go ahead and create a post in here. So don't drag and drop it in. Go ahead and click photo video and then add your add your uh, sound bite in wherever you save that. Now, when you drop the video in, you're going to see that you're uh, given a couple of more options. So one is a title. So uh, this one is um, this one is about uh, Google Data Studio. So I'm just gonna put that in, Google Data Studio. 
and um, uh, this is our latest podcast about Google Data Studio. Okay, so you can put that in. And then over here, uh, you can add some tags, some keywords. You can put a lot more information. So this is a better way to add your sound bite to Facebook. But on the right-hand side, you'll see video details, okay? So there's a couple of things that you can do in here, but we're gonna stick with the subtitles and captions. So go ahead and click on that. So you have a couple of options. You can auto-generate the captions. You can upload the file or you can write the captions yourself, okay? Um, up to you, how you wanna do it. I auto-generate it in English. My podcasts are short. Uh, I don't get into heavy, uh, you know, different accents or very complicated technical terms that may be uh, read incorrectly. So I'm going to auto-generate and that will auto-generate the captions for the video. And you can see right here, it's going through the process. So uh, I will go ahead and, and wait for that and we'll catch this video back up when this is about done. Oh, there it is, it's already through. Uh, so you can review and edit. So if you wanna go through and edit everything you can, it depends just how much post-processing um, you, know, you wanna do on this. Uh, again, mine are pretty short. So I'm gonna go ahead and click next. So now I'm in publishing options uh, video post. There's a bunch of things in here, but I'm just going to publish it now uh, to my news feed. I'm not going to add it to any um, playlists, et cetera, et cetera. So let's go ahead and click publish. So just like when you put any video on Facebook, there is a processing period that it goes through. And let's see um, how this pulls up. Okay, and now once your post is uh, loaded up and you have selected the captions, here it is in your feed. And when we click play, there's the captions and they pull up right on the bottom. So just a reminder, 80%, about 80% of videos that are watched on Facebook are without sound. So highly recommend you get the captions on there so people can read and understand what your podcast is about and hopefully it'll expand is about and get you some likes and some subscribes. Uh, once you have it on your page, then you can just go down here into the share section and then share it to uh, groups or other platforms that maybe you use to promote your show and it'll carry over the captions. Guys, I hope that helps. I've seen that uh, question a lot. I also see people promoting their sound bites without captions. So I really recommend adding it to help you with your reach and, and, and grow your podcast. All right, I'll see you guys uh, in the chat room and I hope you all have a great 2020. Thank you.